All right, folks, today we're going to be rebuilding a half-inch uh, Bishop and Babcock uh, thermostatic radiator trap. It's the number six. The uh, company has long since passed into the mists of history. And because we have a small bathroom radiator, we're going to be um, installing a, a different manufacturer's product. We're going to be installing a Tunstall product, um, which there's our... Uh, model number there, Tunstall in Massachusetts. And um, first thing we're going to do is we have to, of course, remove the uh, cap. Now, I would recommend using an impact socket. We've already impacted off, so you don't have to be disturbed by the loud noises. What you're going to need uh, for this particular trap, you're going to need an inch and a quarter socket. And that goes on here. And we can try to get that off. It's already loosened up for us. The cap comes off and you'll find the uh, old element. And this takes the element failed in the closed position so that made this failure easy to diagnose. The radiator simply didn't heat. Um, so the element is just threaded in the cap and we just have to remove it. It comes out fairly, uh, fairly easily. Sometimes you might need a pair of channel locks to take it out but that's, this is then scrapped. Set this down for a minute. We've anti-seized the threads uh, to make it uh, easier to remove the next time. The next thing you're gonna need to remove is the seat there. For that, you're gonna need a one inch socket. And we've loosened it up for you. Uh, so you don't have to go through that rigmarole, but this comes out like so. This, is, as you can see, the Bishop and Babcock, I think, was one of the first uh, traps to um, use removable seats. And um, this is a, a 7 8 by 18 thread in there. So now, the way the Tunstall product worked is they have a basic uh, stainless steel capsule. Uh, which is their sort of standard size, and they um, use a half by 20 thread, I believe. And so in order to make up the difference, uh, if you call out the correct uh, trap indicator, they use a bushing. So this is a, a 7 8 by 18 thread to thread into their standard capsule. Uh, I'll just put a redope that a little bit. Make sure it threads in nicely. Just, just uh, we've already added some dope. Just going to rejuvenate it, and that'll go in the trap there in place of the old seat. Use your one-inch socket and you know, tighten her down. Oop. Snug it, but not cranked. I've had it on some of these. If you crank too much on some of their smaller bushings, you might shear the bushing, and that would not be a good day for you. So I just make sure you be aware of that. Then, just use a little bit of dope on there. Um, in some cases, if the if the fit is a little bit loose, you could probably use a little uh, Teflon tape to affect the seal. On some models of the capsule, they'll have a gasket. Um, right where my fingernail is, right there. So this is then set down and threaded into uh, the new bushing. And then um, they need the uh, Tunstall tool there, which then locks on these two cutouts. wrench, snug it down, and the capsule has been installed. And the cap goes back on, and line it up like so, <laughs> not cooperating right now, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, and we're done. And I thank you very much. Ta-da.